Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachachwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a response to this dream. All right, uploaded here uh, by the brother um, Saints of Jersey 2. Um, this video was sent to me by a few brothers earlier this morning, but I've been working, so I haven't really had a chance to check it out. Um, so I uh, put it aside to look at it, you know, um, at a later time today. You know, and as I'm uh, working, I just happened to put on the Elder Apostle Gabar's video where he's going into the brother's dream. And as I'm listening to this brother's dream, you know, um, the spirit had me say, let me go check this brother's dream out. All right. And um, I listened to it, you know, and as he gets to the end of it, you know, I teared up. Um, but what's very, very heavy, and you brothers and sisters should check out this dream. An angel came to me in my dream with a message. Um, and um, when you when you when you hear it, you know it will be very uplifting. Um, so uplifting. The uh, elder apostle Kabar just did pretty much an hour-long video going into it called "Hold Up, Family of the Elect." All right. We're about to be up. As a matter of fact, let me show you that one as well. Um, let's see if I can bring that up. <laughs> if any man will. Okay. So um, when you uh, watch the video, it's uh, it's heavy. You know, the brother you know described like a chaotic situation. You know, where people were just at each other's throat. You know, and an angel uh, came to him and uh, pretty much comforted him, you know, with food and gave him a message that ultimately we're, we're getting ready to be upgraded. You know, we're getting ready to get rid of these bodies, you know, and the angel um, who he said looked like myself, um, <laughs> which you know, no idea what that means. But, you know, we're just going to keep pushing, you know, and doing our job. Um, I didn't even want to mention that part in this video, but hey, that's what the brother said. So, you know, ultimately, uh, the angel was able to point out, you know, particular ailments brothers are going through. But what's heavy about this dream, all right, because you can watch that brother's dream. You can watch this response the uh, Elder Apostle Gabar did um, as well. What's heavy about this dream is that last night I myself, you know, one, I don't have many dreams. Um, and when I do have dreams, <laughs> there's always something spiritual, you know, but then there's always some folly in it, you know, so I don't really tell brothers, you know, and sisters too much. I don't really put them on, you know, wax. And even this dream that I had today, um, you know, it was the same concept, you know, it was uh, a lot of uh, seriousness in it, <laughs> but then... There's some weird things that popped up, and I don't know if it has anything to do, you know, uh, with my mind. You know, I'm always, uh, in my mind, I'm always thinking of things and laughing and, you know, imagining what I can make as a skit. Who who knows? But anyway, um, in this brother's dream, he, uh, you know, was witnessing a chaotic situation, and an angel came to him with a sandwich and gave him some very encouraging words that, you know, can be uh, used to uh, boost our faith that ultimately we're getting ready to transition out of these bodies into the new. And um, my dream, just to put it out there, um, is that ultimately it was a chaotic situation. Um, and ultimately I was with the elder brother, you call the head of the GMS uh, Arkansas camp. And, um, it was a few other brothers, but I can't quite make out who they were. You know, I forget my dreams pretty fast. That's another reason why I don't really put them on waxes because, you know, once I wake up, you know, and get going, 
You know, that's why that brother recorded that video right on the spot because it's like once you get going with your day, you know, you start to forget certain points. And I have forgot certain points, but I'm going to give the overall scenario of the dream that I had last night um, is that it was a chaotic situation. Um, this is around four in the morning, three, four in the morning, because I remember waking up. Um, it was chaotic, but um, I remember seeing a particular man, all right, when I go walking in my neighborhood, there's this particular uh, Jake, you know, he's to himself, you know, he has about three or four cars, you know, he's always out in his yard cutting his grass, you know, but I always say to myself, something's up with this guy, you know what I'm saying, he, does, he doesn't speak, you know, he's one of those neighbors that's very particular about his yard, you know, but he lives around the corner and I'm, you know, sometimes I take my walk, you know, get my steps in <laughs> and uh, I'll see him. But I remember in that dream, uh, me and the uh, elder brother, your call, you know, as we were witnessing this chaotic situation, we were able to, uh, you know, these people were just going at it. You know, we were able to point out, you know, faults in, you know, particular wicked things about each individual, things that they've done in their lives, um, you know, and I remember seeing that cat, you know, that I see when I go walking and um, something said, you know, uh, registered, you know, sex offender, you know, child, you know, something just popped and we was like, yep, you know, we were able to just kind of like break down what wickedness each of these individuals had done as they were in this chaotic situ situation scenario, you know, they were fighting, screaming, and things were crazy. But all of a sudden, the scene transitioned, um, you know, to where I'm in front of my uh, father's house. He lives in uh, Mississippi, you know, and it's still me and your call. And that individual is standing there. And all of a sudden, animals... You know, I, I remember it was a rabbit. I remember it was a raccoon. I remember it was a, a deer. Animals just started coming out of nowhere, you know, attacking this individual. Like, just tearing his ass up. He's screaming. He's getting judged, clearly. And me and the brother, you know, we're kind of like, oh, shit. You know, we're, we're, we're in a very, very, you know, like, we're frightened. Like, you know, like, oh, shit, are they going to come after us? You know, it was just, you know, I remember a monkey jumped off like the 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 uh, roof. <laughs> it was crazy. And, you know, grabbed him, you know, got him in a, a chokehold. It was like the animals were really jumping this cat. You know what I'm saying? And um, there was a like a, a signal saying something signaled us, you know, they're doing this so y'all can go inside of this dude's house because he has a lot of food, you know, saved up. You know, he has a lot of food. And it, the only reason I'm doing this video, because I wouldn't have done this video if this, if I didn't hear that brother's video. It was just too much as a co of a coincidence, you know. Um, but pretty much, you know, the, the spirit told us, you know, the, the animals attacked that cat, you know, for the purpose of us going in the house. And when we went in the house, all right, he had all kind of food stored, all kind of canned goods. Um, I remember seeing like a, you know how back in the day people would have those deer heads, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was weird. It was weird, you know, sitting on the wall. Um, and I remember specifically a deer, you know, was, you know, like after like they were, they were these animals were like judging them, like ripping them to shreds. Um, so it was all kind of food in there and you know, the last of the dream is, you know, we was like, oh, you know, we were like, oh, damn, you know, praising the Lord. Um, and then from what I remember, we were eating, but then uh, his neighbor, we saw his neighbor or another neighbor, you know, kind of like had a, 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 a strap like a gun, you know, and he was headed towards the house we were in, you know, but pretty much from that point. Um, you know, everything blurred. I don't remember too much after that, but I remember the dream turning into some folly. <laughs> um, 
that I don't, I'm not even going to, you know, say. All right, because I remember waking up eventually, and then I went back to sleep, and the dream continued. But that was, you know, some folly. But it was something spiritual in that one as well. But I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that that was the dream. Now, you know, a precept that uh, this uh, could link with is uh, Job, the fifth chapter, and. Um, Let's start at 19. He shall deliver thee, Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. You know? And the elect are going to be protected. Okay? In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in the power, all right, in, in war from the power of the sword. All right? Who's to say that individual who, um, you know, uh, came with that uh that 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 gun he came and, and pretty much the lord just you know got him out of there who knows what would have happened but in, anyway it says and in war from the power of the sword so in famine he shall redeem thee basically he's going to save us from the death in the time of famine all right it says thou shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue okay all of the slander the people are going to come with neither shall thou be afraid of the destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Okay? It says, you will laugh at destruction and famine, in the NLT, wild animals will not terrify you. Now, I do remember in that dream, we were like, oh, you know, you know, as we were, you know, looking at these people, you know, go back and forth and argue and fight, you know, we were able to look at them and point out you know, the wickedness that they were doing, you know, in their lives, past lives, whatever it may be. And, um, I remember, you know, that one individual who I always see, you know, I remember we, we it came to the, our mind, this dude's a sex offender. He did some wickedness, you know, to a child. It was, it was something along those lines, you know what I'm saying? But, um, once the animals start attacking him, you know, we started to notice you know, at first we were frightened, but then, you know, after a while, we started to say, man, they see us, but they're not bothering us. It's like we were like in the background, but we were, you know, it was trees around, you know, and it was weird. You know, but then we ended up in front of my father's house, you know, the exact scene. And this dude was getting absolutely destroyed. And then the animals, you know, they would they would they were they would see us and they would just go. They wouldn't say, you know, they wouldn't bother us. So they pretty much attacked this dude for the purpose of us going into his house <laughs> and getting that food, all right? Um, it says, neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth, all right? Going into what this brother brought out in his dream, you know, we're getting ready to be transformed, okay, into new bodies, you know, and as we go from glory to glory, all right, there are particular, you know, miracles that we're going to witness, all right, because you have to understand, things are getting ready to get absolute crazy, so the Lord is going to have particular miracles happen, all right, for certain brothers, all right, and certain sisters, you're going to see certain miracles that are going to strengthen your faith to get through, all right, this straight gate, right? So thou shalt, uh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the, of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, okay, meaning the earth is going to be at one with us. We're going to be able to, the earth is going to fight for us, okay? <laughs> I mean, how that's going to play out, we don't know, but, hey, we, <laughs> you can only use your imagination at this time, man, all right? We know in part and prophesy in part, all right? And the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. See, the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee, you know, meaning... Ultimately, we're going to be, you know, the, the transformation process, you know, it started when we received this word, you know, that was the first, you know, recipient of, you know, first, you know, form of spiritual power we received, but we go from glory to glory, all right, until we're beamed up, you know, and going into this uh, video the Apostle Gabar has here, hold up, family of the elect, we are about to be upped, 
All right, so check out, you know, that brother's video uh, as, as well as the Apostle Elder Gabar's video. And uh, the titles of their, their videos, all you have to do is rewind this video. But, you know, as the scriptures say uh, about famine as well, you know, the Lord is going to take care of his elect. Okay. Uh, what is it? Was that Psalms? I believe 37. Yep. Psalms 37 and 19. They shall not be ashamed in an evil time. See, all of those people were ashamed and being disgraced. They were being judged. Okay? But the elect are not going to be ashamed because ultimately we've done what the Heavenly Father has ordered us to do. All right? We used our grace period wisely. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Okay? So as, if there's a famine going on in the earth, we're going to have to lean on Yahweh Bashim Yashai for food. Now, we know food can come out of the earth, but... You know, you're gonna, you may have scenarios where hey, the Lord may do something like that. You you, you may have a, a, a prepper or a truth or somebody who's just stocking up beans, food, lawful stuff that we can eat. <laughs> all right. And then only for the purpose. All right. Of us having it or, or some form of crazy situation happening to where we get our hands on it. All right. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. All right. But the wicked and the wicked is not always talking about Esau. You have wicked Israelites. OK, the, the wicked heathen, but the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers of the field. They shall disappear like smoke. So I just wanted to share that dream. I don't want to go too far. All right. Keep bringing out precepts. The point was made. And hopefully I'll edify it on to the next. Shalom.